Today I'm going to teach you how to sear some ahi tuna. Now you can do this on a pan. I have a flat iron grill here, the char griller. Basically it's super simple. Take them out of the package. You want to get this thing ripping hot. Like right now we have it heated. Uh, it's preheating, but you can do this in a pan. Basically you're going to do 30 to 45 seconds a side just to get some color on and that's it. You want it to be medium rare inside, so that's what we're going to do. So without further ado, let's hop right in. Nice and slimy. So find kind of your hot spot. You're gonna take some olive oil or whatever oil you have, lay it down. And now you're gonna lay this and spread it around. Now you're gonna take your tuna and lay it down. Press it so you have some type of contact. Just drop some seasoning. Second one goes down. What I like to do is always put a little bit more olive oil around so you get a nice sear. And we're gonna do this real time so you can see just how easy it is to sear tuna. Now what I like to do while this is searing, I got some everything bagel seasoning. It does have sesame seeds in it. I don't have sesame seeds, but preferably just use sesame seeds. And what you're gonna do, Bless you, cameraman. Uh, you're gonna throw this down. So basically, when you're done, you're gonna coat your tuna in the seasoning. After about that 30 second mark, we're gonna come ahead and flip. And that's what you should be looking for. And we're gonna go about another 30 seconds per side. I like a little bit more olive oil. If you guys are curious, this is a char griller flat iron three burner grill. Again, you can do this in a pan, but I got this awesome char griller to do the work for me. And you can see, look, I put a little extra olive oil on top. We're gonna spread that around. That way the seasoning sticks to it. When you put the tuna into the seasoning, it'll stick nice and good. You see how it's kind of getting, it's, the gray creeps up. You want to leave a little band of paint. That way it's nice and medium rare inside. Just how you want it. This is how tuna is supposed to be eaten. Go with some crud. That's it, this one's, this thinner one's looking good. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it off and it laid down. And then usually I like to do a little flip, but we can just season it right on top. Looking gorgeous, get a close up of that. How good does that look? Now we'll take our next one and you just gotta go quick, lay it on the side and get that seasoning everywhere. And that's it. That's how you make some perfectly seared ahi tuna. Now you can slice this up, put it on a poke bowl. You can eat it raw, you can eat it sushi style. It's absolutely delicious. And now we are going to go ahead and slice these. So what I like to do is come and go with the grain. That way you don't make too much of a mess. And it's a little bit easier to slice. Get the ladies down nice and even. That's what it should look like. Slightly cooked on the, on the edge and then perfectly rare on the inside with the sesame seeds on the outside. 